Hello, welcome to today's video. Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, hi, I'm so glad you decided to click on my video and hang out today. I have some really fun finds that are new in from Walmart for early spring, late winter, whatever you want to call it. Some really stylish and chic pieces that you're definitely not going to want to miss out on. So get comfy and let's get right into the haul. As always, everything is going to be linked down in the description box in the order that it appears. But YouTube has this cool new feature now where with certain brands, you can shop the products directly on the screen. So you may see um, the products pop up somewhere down here and you can just shop those right from the video. Or if you prefer to just do it the old fashioned way, all the links will be in the description box right down there for you. First off the bat, I love this dress. I am such a sucker for anything that's like in an army green, olive green. I just think this is one of my all time favorite neutral colors just because it looks so good with literally any other neutral, any other color out there. And it's a color. It's not just like a neutral, like a beige or a white or a black or a gray. So I think that is why I love it. But this dress is from uh, Free Assembly and it is in a size small. And I would say it definitely fits true to size. Such a fun shirt dress. They also have this exact same dress in like a dark denim uh, wash, which was equally cute. Um, but like I said, I'm such a sucker for like the army green stuff. So that's why I went for this one. I really love this and I think it's going to be so versatile for spring, but you could also wear this now. Like I could see if you live somewhere where it's pretty cold still, you could put a like thin layering turtleneck on underneath this and you can wear it with some tall boots and a coat over the top and bam, you're ready to go. It will transition into the spring months so, so easily. And I think that the cool utilitarian vibe of it lends itself obviously to very casual outfits, uh, which I have it paired with some sneakers, but you could also just pop on a fun pair of like heeled sandals and this could easily go to like a fun like event at night, maybe going out to dinner. Just is super cute and I love the fact that it has an elastic waistband in the back. It does have like a little belt that is that ties. You can remove it and add your own belt if you prefer, which sometimes I think that kind of makes a cooler look. But the dress itself in the back the waistband is elastic. So a lot of forgiveness there. Um, has these really cute pockets. I love that the pockets have like sort of like almost a trench coat pocket um, vibe to them with this little flap that's on them. Just adorable. Not from Walmart, but I just want to shout out these Dolce Vita heels that I just got that I wear with like the dressy version of this. I think these are so stinking cute. Like look at the, the pearls and like the raffia stripes. Ugh, I live for that. And they're surprisingly comfortable. So not from Walmart, but I'll link these down below also. A super cute pair to grab if you are in the market for some fun shoes, if you've got spring on the brain. Okay, also in that outfit that I have to talk about are these sneakers. These are from No Boundaries. And y'all, if you've been paying attention, the freaking Adidas Samba sneakers have taken the fashion world by storm. I'm like debating if I wanna get a pair of them. I've kind of been debating if I wanted a pair of them for so long. And I almost feel like maybe I've held out for too long and I should just wait for the next fun sneaker trend to come up that I'm into. But if you want the Samba look for less, uh, if you wanna jump on that trend, basically the reason why the Samba sneakers are so popular is because they have a sort of retro sneaker feel to them and retro style sneakers are definitely the sneaker trend of the moment. So No Boundaries has a fantastic uh, inspired shoe for just that exact shoe and trend. Obviously it doesn't look like Adidas, but it has a lot of the same similar features. Like it has the, um, the like contrasting faux leather piece that comes up in the toe. They've got this fun little graphic swooshy thing on the side. It's got a similar gum sole. Um, so overall they have a very, very similar vibe and look. These come in a bunch of different colors. I got the red, but I'm sure they have, I'm fairly sure they have like a green, a blue, I think black, maybe lots of different colors. What I will say about these when I put them on is the soles of them are really cushy, but they feel like they run kind of big. I got a 10, that's my normal size, but I think I could have gotten a nine just cause they feel really roomy. So that's just my two cents. Usually I never feel like shoes run big, but I think these, these definitely do, but a super fun, cute way to get in on that Adidas Samba trend if you don't wanna shell out the 100 bucks for the Adidas. All right, I love me a trench coat and I think getting a faux leather one is just such a level up. Uh, this faux leather trench is from Scoop, my favorite in-house Walmart 
uh, brand and I got it in a medium because I wanted it to be a little bit more oversized and I definitely think that is the way to go with this if you want that more slouchy cool look. Um, the small definitely would have fit really well but I just think going up one size will just give you that um, and it just makes it more roomy makes it a little bit more chic I think too. Now we have to talk about the the faux leather of this. It feels like butter. It just feels so buttery soft and so good. Um, and it's a pretty straightforward trench coat. It's just a tie closure. There's no buttons. Nice and long. And it's a good, nice, like, lightweight jacket that will be perfect for um, springtime. And I love this, like, nice, creamy, neutral color, too. Definitely a great color for those more springtime looks, layering on top of lighter, uh, more springy pastel colors for sure, but you can tell that it also looks great just over this nice solid black dress. So it just really works well with so many things. Um, and I think this will be a really cute um, trench coat to add into the mix if you are uh, looking for just a really cool piece of outerwear to transition you from the end of winter into spring. Next up is this blouse, which I did not realize when I first grabbed it that it is a bodysuit. That threw me for a loop when I pulled it out of the box. But that being said, I don't know if I'm a huge fan of it now that I have it on. Um, I like the idea of it, but my problem with it is the fact that it has this little uh, clasp right here that kind of like fastens to hold it shut, to hold the blouse together. You really have the option to not use it because if you do, it's basically just completely open as you can see. So really your only option is to wear it clasped shut. What I don't love about that is just I just feel like the neckline for that is pretty high. I would like it to be like somewhere right here ideally. Being up here it just feels like really closed off. It, it makes the whole look just look more bulky. It makes me feel like I look bigger and I just feel like all the drapiness of the fabric the little faux pockets. It's just really not doing very much for me, honestly. I'm a little disappointed by this. I think this would have been cuter if it was just like an actual blouse, but it just does not feel right on. So this one is definitely going back for sure. A little bit of a dud, but you know what? You can't win them all, right? All right, I'm a girl who loves a suit. Oh, I love wearing suits. I just find myself, I just feel so powerful in them and I love finding them in fun colors. So I saw this one from Scoop. They have a couple different suiting options in Scoop this season, which I decided to go with this blazer and these wide leg trousers. They do also have a version of this blazer that has like the scrunch sleeves that are just permanently scrunched up for you. And it's a little bit more of like a tailored look. This one is definitely meant to be like an oversized blazer and I'm wearing it in a size small. So you can see just like how kind of slouchy and oversized that it is. Um, but it, it definitely looks kind of cool. I mean, it's, it looks kind of big, but the oversized look is still here. It's still alive and well. So I say embrace it because it's definitely got that sort of like cool factor to it. This color is so pretty, so perfect for spring. I just, I cannot get enough of this like eggshell blue color. It's one of my favorite colors. Um, and of course, they do have this in some other more neutral colors. I want to say they have it in like a tan, maybe black. Um, but for me, this is it. This blue is so, so cute. Instead, I paired it with these pleated wide leg trousers. These are in a size six, very true to size, fits great in the waist. And I would say the length of them hits perfectly as well. Uh, for reference, I am 5'7". Um, you can find all of my stats and measurements down in the description box if you're curious about that, but lengthwise for me being 5'7", they're absolutely perfection. And I love the fit of them. They definitely have a good wide leg uh, fit all throughout the leg. I cannot get enough of this color. I decided to pair this look with my like very, very colorful, fun Nike Dunks that I got a couple months ago. They've got some fun pink in there, which I pulled that pink in with my little handbag. And I just think this is such a fun and funky spring look that you could wear to so many different occasions, whether it's going out with friends, going to get dinner, going to brunch, you name it. For science, I decided to try another pair of pants that go with this blazer. These are more of like a slim fit uh, flared leg trouser pants. And I also got these in a six, but these fit so much more snug than the wide leg trousers. So I would say that these uh, flare leg trousers probably run a little bit smaller. So you might want to size up a size if you have like a little bit more of like a booty or if you more, have more hips, you definitely 
are going to want to have a little bit of extra room, go a size up. Just trust me. These, these are a little snug. I also have to say the length of them is a little bit awkward. I feel like they just need to be a touch longer for me. Um, they kind of hit a little bit shorter than I would like. So if it's between these two pants when completing this suit look, it's going to be the wide leg ones. If I had gotten these in a bigger size, in an eight, then I probably would like them better, but they just feel very, very confining. But just to give you an idea of how they look side by side, I'll do a little comparison so you can see. I mean, some people do like the wide leg look, some people like a more tailored look. So whichever way that you prefer, you can get this suit and make the look work for you, which I absolutely love. Yet another blazer. This one I saw on the free assembly shop and I thought that looks so much like the Veronica Beard blazer that I love. And if you're not familiar with Veronica Beard, she makes incredible blazers, but they are so expensive. Even when they go on sale at the Nordstrom anniversary sale every year, they're still pretty pricey. This definitely has a similar like idea to it. I feel like the double breastedness of it, um, the way that it's sort of like cut in the center where it like comes into a point and then it goes out is a very Veronica Beardy sort of style. And I love the little like micro houndstooth that it has going on. I got this in a medium because with free assembly, sometimes their stuff runs either true to size or sometimes a little bit on the small side. And I've gotten blazers from them before where I felt like uh, when I got a small, it was just a little bit too small. But I think I definitely could have done a small in this blazer because this feels like it's a little bit oversized for me. The shoulders kind of, I think they fit right. I don't know. Hard to tell. I might need to get a small just to compare the two, but I would say take your normal size. Uh, but I just think this is such a chic blazer that you could just throw on. Like I have it on over these like uh, super comfy black trousers that I just got from Quince. Oh, these feel like yoga pants. If you want pants for your workplace that feel like you're wearing yoga pants, go to the link in the description box for these pants from Quince and get them because they're so comfy. You could easily also throw this over jeans and it would look super cute. So this is a great blazer. I love the print of it. Very chic, kind of like that like um, old money, like 90s look that's very trending right now. Even though like houndstooth and blazers are really never a trend, but I feel like especially right now, this is definitely a look that is very of the moment, if you will. I don't often try out jeans from Walmart, but I saw this pair from Time and True and thought I would give them a try. And I am so impressed by these. If you're looking for just a good pair of like mid-rise, comfy, straight leg jeans, these are I think pretty fantastic. I put them on and they feel so good. They've got such a great amount of stretch to them. They're just super, super comfortable. I love the wash. Um, it's a nice light wash, which is great for the spring and summer seasons. And I think the, the length of them is super cute too. They're a little bit cropped on me, which I tend to like a little bit of a crop in my straight leg jeans just to give a little bit more room for my shoes to be shown off. And yeah, they make the booty look good. You can't really go wrong with these. My only like small complaint is that they're mid rise and I kind of like my jeans to be high rise. So if they were just like an inch higher, I they would be so perfect, but they're super comfy. And I'm fairly certain they have some other washes of these. So if you want like a dark wash, they have that version, solid, really good pair of very affordable blue jeans. Y'all know, if you've been around, that I love a sheer piece. And they had the prettiest looking sheer dress on Scoop. They have it in black, which I picked up, but they also sell this in a really pale pink, which I read an article the other day and apparently like pale pink is like on the rise. Like hot Barbie pink will be out this year and it will be replaced by pale pink. Not sure how I feel about that because I like hot Barbie pink. I think it looks better on me than pale pink, but just a little little tidbit of color trend information for you if you care to know. But this piece I think is so on trend right now. Sheer pieces have been just on the rise in the last couple years and I just think there's so many ways that you can rock the sheer trend and I think if you're a little intimidated by it this is a great way to dip your toe into it because it's not super sheer it's kind of just giving like the hint of sheer and it also comes with this solid black dress that goes underneath it so it's a very easy to wear uh sheer look but if you're like me and you're always thinking of ways to like wear your pieces more and more you could take the little uh black slip dress that comes underneath it and just snip the little uh, thread that holds them together because they come attached to one another. You could just snip that so that you can have them both exist separately from each other. And you could take this black sheer piece and style it over 
pants with like a tank top underneath or um, you could style it over a black bodysuit, whatever you feel comfortable doing, but this top sheer shell could become its own piece that you could do other things with. If that's really pretty, I think it's really elegant. The fabric feels really nice. And I mean, honestly, anything from Scoop, you can't go wrong. They always have such really cool, uh, affordable on-trend pieces every season. Well, I hope you're ready for spring and this haul helps you get super excited for warmer weather ahead. If you're if you are looking for more affordable but beautifully high quality pieces, I really encourage you to check out my recent Quince haul. If you've never heard of Quince, you're definitely gonna wanna check it out because it's such an incredible brand that you have to know about. Please subscribe if you are not already part of the channel and give this video a thumbs up if it was fun. It really helps me out. Um, I'll see you guys over on this Quince video and if not, I will see you on my next one. Bye.